Hello, this is Chris Panayodou with the Electrical Engineering Technology Program here at the College. I thought I will try something new this semester in preparation for the registration for Spring 2012. The Electrical Engineering Technology Department consists of two uh, degrees. The first one is the Electronics Engineering Technology AAS degree and the second is the Electrical Power Technology AS degree. Both are selective admissions programs. The uh, daytime selective admissions program of the Electronics Engineering Technology is the Robotics and Photonics Institute and it's offered Monday through Thursday from 8 to about 12.15 in the afternoon. We do also have an open admissions evening program for the Robotics and Photonics Institute. The Electrical Power Technology Program um, is, a, is the program we have in association with Florida Power and Light, a very um, successful and very uh, in-demand uh, program. It is a selective admissions and it's offered only in the daytime, uh, Monday through Thursday. This is the program guide for the Robotics and Photonics Institute. Uh, for students who are in the uh, daytime program, they just need to follow the courses as they are laid out here. So for this semester, they have just finished these courses of the fall term, and we will be registering the students for the spring semester, and they will be taking these courses that we have right here. To assist uh, counselors and advisors with uh, registering evening students who are not quite in lockstep as the daytime students, this flowchart would be very helpful. It shows the prerequisite uh, course for uh, the following course. Uh, you can see the arrows and uh, you can see also the color coding down here. Courses in, in yellow are major field required courses. Um, the courses in reddish color are general ed courses. And then the courses in blue are major field electives. Typically these electives are second year courses. And uh, for, especially for the evening students, we have also available all of these other major field, field electives in green so they can choose uh, either the courses in blue or they can substitute those with green to make it easy for them uh, to pick up a course and graduate in time. For the coming uh, semester, this is the schedule, the evening schedule to assist with registering the uh, robotics and photonics evening students. The green coded uh, courses are those which are suggested for the first year students. You can correlate this with the previous slide which was the um, the flowchart and the courses in yellow are the courses for the second year Robotics and Photonics Institute. The minimum requirements to get into the Robotics and Photonics Institute is to pass our placement test and score into um, um, English 1101 or into intermediate algebra. Um, once they pass the CPT test or the PER test, then uh, we would like them to take the um, applied algebra or technical math one in, in place of intermediate algebra. We do have an application process and we have a deadline of May 2012. The person who is responsible for collecting the applications and helping all of the candidates through the process is Julie Clark, and this is her number. Again, this is for the Robotics and Photonics Institute. For the Power Plant Technology Program, we have um, uh, a common core of courses, which is the uh, first year. And in the second year, we actually have four different specializations. We have the instrumentation and control, the electrical specialization, mechanical specialization, and radiation protection. The uh, application process begins in August, and by the end of May, uh, we, uh, the, uh, the process is completed and we select the applicants for the following uh, fall term. 
the uh, here we have the uh, minimum requirements for acceptance into the power plant uh, technology institute uh, they have to take the placement test and they need to score into English 1101 and into college algebra they also need to attend an information session where we tell them uh, about all of the specifics that the um, power industry requires for them and after they take the after they attend the information session they need to take a special test it's called the mass test and uh, they need to pass this test and after that they need to submit an, submit an essay explaining why they would like to be admitted into the program the person who is responsible for the applications and collecting all of this information and make sure that all of the candidates uh, go through the proper process is Jonah Wallace and she can be reached at this number so uh, this is a summary for the programs that we have under the electrical engineering technology uh, I hope this was helpful and please please feel free to make, make any comments thank you for watching